With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, consider the given question. Isoprene can form two polymers which are natural rubber and gutta percha. They are related to each other by. So the four options are given. First one is geometrical isomerism, second is metamerism and third is optical isomerism and fourth is chain isomerism. So we know that we know that natural rubber natural rubber is cis polyisoprene and its structure is this it is C double bond C CS2 CS2 C double bond CH CS2 CS2 C double bond C CS2 and so on H CS3 and here also CS3 and here CS2 that is this is the polymerize and this is CS and here H CS2 C CS3 CH CS2 CS2 C double bond so this is the cis isoprene this is the poly cis isoprene that is cis poly isoprene that is natural rubber is cis poly isoprene and we know that now consider the second one gutta percha that is gutta Parcha. We know that it is the trans poly isoprene and its structure is as follows that is C double bond C H C S2 and this is polymerize C S3 CS2 CS2 C double bond CH CS3 CS2 CS2 C double bond C H CS2 and this is polymerized from there and CS3 this is polymerized from this carbon so this is cs3 cs2 and we can clearly see that this is the trans polyisoprene trans polyisoprene or gutta percha isoprene so we know that cis and trans isomerism is called cis and trans isomerism is called geometrical isomerism geometrical isomerism so we get that we get gutta percha is trans polyisoprene and natural rubber is the cis polyisoprene hence they are the so they are related to each other by the geometrical isomerism hence option first is the correct choice thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today